three days later, they're pretty exuberant. And when you come here as the gaining cohort, you're sitting in the seat on Sunday afternoon, this is the first thing you see, and we tell you that's gonna be you in three days. And people are looking at us like we're crazy. There's no way I'm gonna feel that much better in three days. And uh, you are. It's pretty novel what happens here. And again, the conversation we're having in our culture is 50 years old. Um, another thing we see here is a lot of addiction, a lot of drug and alcohol addiction, uh, including sometimes misuse of, of prescription medication. Um, I don't know if you're aware of it, but Alcoholics Anonymous started in Akron, Ohio in 1935. We have a pretty deep background in 12 step, and we begin to take down some of the obstacles for our folks to get into those rooms, which are everywhere and are free. And those are community resiliency models that for whatever reason, a lot of DOD personnel are not aware of, and they don't know what a 12-step program looks like. We also have 10 of our own meetings a week on Zoom, so folks around the country uh, on our Saw alumni page access those meetings on Zoom. Out of 1,700 that have been here, 1,100 are on the Saw alumni page. So there's about a 64% stickiness from our folks coming here to getting up into the private page. 500 people came through Saul this year, 360 here, 140 in Southern California. And um, this is where we do a 72 hour experience on the clock from beginning to end, only broken up for about eight hours sleep. It's a very, very intensive experience that one could compare it to a 72 hour mental health hold. And uh, after three days, our folks have had a pretty transformative experience and they're ready to go into a 500 day day at a time experience that clarifies what happened here in three days. This is like no other experience uh, one can imagine. These are the boots that were worn by the Navy SEAL who was third in the door to kill Bin Laden. And he sat in that seat uh, about two years ago. His name's Alex W. And these are the kind of warriors that come here. Top tier special operators, Anyone you can imagine out of 1,750 people in the last nine years have been through this experience either here or in Southern California. This program has been knocked off about 36 times as far away as Canada and Australia. And the model that we use basically teases apart what is the components of complex PTS. So it's highly novel, very disruptive, and it's not what you think. No one has ever really prepared, no matter how much is out there on the internet, no matter how much is written about us, it's still a very, very novel experience for people who've tried everything and they're kind of looking for the last house on the block. Most of our folks tend to be misdiagnosed and over-medicated because 95% of this is not a psychological issue. It doesn't have a biological component. It's a philosophical issue that needs to be teased apart. Well, if there was one of these in every region in the United States, you would not see the suicide crisis that you see today because we can serve a thousand people a year here, no problem, yeah? And you have about 8,000 veteran suicides a year. You get a half a dozen of these around the country running the way we do. Our budget's only $2 million a year, full steam. That's a spit in the ocean compared to what's being spent at the federal level. It's a spit in the ocean and it's three days. It used to be five but the game got faster, we got better, and the conversation got tighter. This is something, at least an introduction, you wanna see at some time in your lifetime because <coughs> we get right into the issue in the second hour and the conversation is not stopped for the next 71 hours after that. But many of you have met Adam Carr. Uh, he's a prior service Green Beret. He's out of the Fisher School at The Ohio State. He went through about five and a half years ago. He's actually working with people out west to look into this emerging metaverse because there are people that would like to attend our work, but they're less than ambulatory. Well, with the emerging technology, we're gonna be able to create um, a multi-dimensional experience for people to have this experience with us no matter where they are. Very, very ancient conversation that happens here in, in the way that we, we communicate this conversation to the people in the seat. And, and if you're confused, that's exactly how you're supposed to be when you come to this. Because the languaging you're finding yourself in is what's causing the pain and suffering in your life.
life and you don't know that you don't know that. So you're unaware that you're unaware of that. So we're gonna create that distinction. We're gonna set up situations for you to be complete with the source of relationships in your life. And then we're gonna move into the space of declaration. I highly suggest that you come observe this experience, either the beginning, the end, or both at some point so that you see what you're investing in and why out of 1,750 people, there have only been four suicides in the last nine years when more than 50% of the people who come here have attempted suicide at some point in their life. That should interest the DOD. That should interest NSW. Like why do people who come here who are admittedly suicidal, having this three day experience, going out beyond it, taking the suggested instructions on how to go about setting up their day internally for themselves, and then not killing themselves and getting sober and titrating off their medication and getting back into the things they enjoy in their life. And we bring folks through here. We're going to have 10 in the front, the opportunity to see 10 in the back um, for clinicians, observers, what have you. So this is from the double capacity just in this building. I'm going to take you out of the hall and show you what we can do with formats to get people to.